Greetings, guys and guys. This is the intro to Rhesus Negative Blood Research, a comprehensive study guide by Jennifer Renee Anthony, 2021. Disclaimer, I am not a medical professional. However, this research is the result of many years of study. Episode five is about explaining RH factor origin. We all know this is one of the most asked questions about RH negs. Where do we come from? And are we from this world or are we just visitors? People perpetuate these questions and beliefs because of three main reasons. Number one, they believe that the RH disease incompatibility means that RH negs must not be from this planet. They take the us versus them approach because they don't understand what being RH positive or negative really is or means. They are biased because most people in the world test as RH positive for the RH antigen. Therefore, they are unwilling to admit that it is themselves who carry the antigen in our RH pause and cause an immune response in the human that is absent of the RH antigen, the RH neg. And remember, blood platelets do not naturally produce the RH antigen. Let me say that again. Blood platelets do not naturally produce the RH antigen. And the RH negative is the universal donor. We can say O neg, but this is separate from blood type allele. It's important that we know the universal donor is RH neg. The RH positive cannot be the universal donor. Number two, other claims are that RH negs are sensitive to the environment and have a low tolerance for earth. <laughs> Rolls eyes, yeah. This is because they have not done the studies and research to learn that it is both RH negs and RH positives that suffer from environmentally induced mitochondrial diseases and disorders, accelerated aging, DNA damage, bioaccumulation of toxins, you know, family, uh, family line mutations in genes, bioaccumulation of toxins, synthetic hormones, steroids, and other known and unknown forever chemicals that are now found ubiquitously in our environment due to modern industrialized chaos. Okay, this is not a result of us not being from the from Earth. <laughs> Number three, people, institution, organizations, etc. that are taught that we are taught to trust are pushing information that is unfavorable and biased against RH negs. This makes it hard for for any RH neg to share any sort of belief uh, that deviates from what is widely accepted by RH positives. I've given a great example of this on my Facebook page when discussing the History Channel's Ancient Alien series posing the RH neg's origins as possible uh, visitors and how many men watch this or subscribe to this channel and then spread the misinformation and conspiracies around in our groups while posing as RH negs. There are many, many examples of this all over the internet. And here's something to think about. If most of the world tests positive for the inherited antigen, then do you really think that a large majority of our scientists and doctors are gonna have an incentive to wanna figure out how to eradicate that pathogen or antigen from the surface of the red blood cells? Or this is just easier for them to claim that we're from another planet and give us rogam and try to force us to have positive children or increase our chances of having positive children. Like I said, most of the world tests as RH, po RH positive, so they inherit this antigen. So if most of the people studying this are largely going to be RH positive, then they're not going to want to admit that there's anything quote unquote wrong with themselves, are they? Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but guess what? There's no such thing as RH negative origins. That's right, no such thing. Obviously, the human species has origins and has gone through evolution, but the real question should be, where does the RH antigen come from? Not where does the RH neg come from? Rather than trying to demonize and rid the planet of RH negs, who's the universal donor, we should be trying to figure out how to be better stewards of Earth and figure out how to eradicate the RH antigen from being inherited on the surface of the red blood cells of 85 to 94% of the entire world's human population. Not trying to pose RH positives as normal and RH negs as, you know, abnormal or otherworldly. That is not fair nor accurate. 
And if you want my honest opinion, I believe this is because a large majority of RH negs are white people. And given that most of the world is made up of non-whites, they have never seemed to want white people to believe that we have an earthly natural origin here on earth, have they? They always want us to think we are late, later mutations and can't be native to anywhere on earth. And yes, non-whites outnumber us by far. White people are a minority group, but you will never hear anyone mention that. Furthermore, as explained in the episode on inheritance and prevalence, I show that there is also no such thing as a re recessive antigen D gene. To revisit that statement, let's read what Science Direct has to say. Is D antigen recessive? We know it's dominant because over 85% of people in the world have it, but is it recessive? Is D antigen recessive? The genes for these antigen, antigens located on the short arm of chromosome one, and we shouldn't even call these genes, are inherited in a set of three from each parent. The presence of D, and this is important, pay attention to this part, the presence of D, the antigen D that makes a person test positive, RH positive, the presence of D determines whether the individual is RH positive. And the absence of D, well, there is no recessive allele. So D does not exist. It yields the RH negative type. So you're either absent or it's present. Either the antigen is present in you or it's absent in you. If it's absent in, t absent in you, then there's no inheritance. There's, it's, it's absent. It doesn't exist. There's no recessive allele for it, okay? And the same thing goes for what I'm trying to tell you about our origins, okay? And why we should be posing the question of where does the RH positive antigen come from rather than asking ourselves, where does the RH neg come from? Well, we're from Earth, okay? We are from Earth. So you see, RH negs are from Earth. I can't stop saying that enough. We are from Earth. We are for Earth and we are from Earth and we will always be here. You will not ever destroy Earth and you will never destroy us. And it will not help us out at all to continue to play into these sci-fi theories that pose us as otherworldly because it is completely unfounded and based on a shocking misinterpretation of medical science, I'll say that.